Hey, I'm Jake Parker, and today I'm going to show you how I drew this robot. Okay, so uh, here we are. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, recorded a video. I think it's been uh, several months, and uh, the fact is I just got really busy, and I didn't uh, put video making in my schedule, but it's a new year. Uh, I'm back at it, and uh, I'm hoping to be doing uh, more of these uh, this year. Um, today, I'm drawing a robot, um, and uh, this is actually my second attempt at this robot. Um, I I spent a good 20 minutes sketching this guy, um, and uh, it just wasn't working for me. I I didn't like it. I didn't like the design, so I just scrapped it and started fresh with this one and um, already I'm, it's feeling much better to me it's it's um, you know it's got a, a better proportions it's got just a better uh, gesture to it so I'm, I'm I'm already pretty happy with it uh, the matter of fact is though I I just didn't feel like drawing today <laughs> I didn't feel like drawing this but uh, I did anyway and I think that's um, that's kind of uh, important if you're going to be an artist or if you're an art artist or if, if you're sort of any hobby or profession you, you choose to pursue um, you've got to do it even when you don't feel like it uh, uh, I, I sometimes you know worry that if you if you base everything off of how you're feeling you know you're only going to create when you're feeling awesome and Unless you're feeling awesome all the time, you're not going to um, uh, you're not going to be creating all the time. And the thing is, you have to be creating something every day, uh, regardless of of how you feel about it. Now that, that doesn't say I, I didn't feel awesome today. I just you know kind of got bogged down with other things and answering emails and scanning things and. And uh, when it came down to drawing, I was, I just, you know, really, I wanted to just sit down and read. I got a new, uh, a new Usagi Ojimbo um, comic book that is just begging to be read right now. It's the, um, it's the um, Omnibus, I think it's what it's called, or uh, I'm not sure, but it's, it collects three, uh, it's a big thick book, it collects three of the other books all into one, and I love, I love Usagi, Yojimbo, and um, I'm excited to dig into that. Anyways, I could talk about comics, but we're here to draw a robot, and as you can see, I, um, I went in and, and really loosely sketched uh, his gesture just wanted to get the feeling of, of what the proportions were how he was posed and then uh, as you can see I'm going back in now and, and starting to figure out little details like how how does he actually work how do these pieces fit together um, the pencil I'm using there is just a cola race pencil it's made by uh, Prismacolor and um, uh, it's, I think it's orange and I'm I'm just using it to lay down the uh, the basic shape of this thing. Um, I'm pretty happy with it at this point. I think I think now it's time to to ink. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, the pen that I'm using this time is a um, uh, it's like a Pentel. I think they're like watercolor brushes. They come in a bunch of different colors, and I just have the the uh, the black one here. And the thing I like about it, it's got a really sharp, springy tip, and um, and it just responds really well to uh, small details and putting down big, thick lines. So that's what I'm using, um, and I and I like too that it gives me just some nice, beautiful um, variants in the line too. You can see there um, just a slight wiggle and a slight um you know amount of pressure to the pen and you get you get all different kinds of little lines there and I want I want to have a lively line uh, cuz 
especially when I'm drawing something really um, when I'm drawing something really technical. Now I'm adding a detail here that uh, wasn't planned. I didn't sketch, and I'm not sure if this is going to work out. I'm not sure I like it, but it's done, so it stays. Um, maybe I'll be able to fix it with uh, with marker or something. But I think that that's kind of at a weird angle. I do though have a visual, I guess, motif that that's being repeated in this um, this character or this robot design, and that's the the ball shapes, the sphere shapes, uh, and also the little like circular divots in the in the sphere shapes, and um, that's a, that's actually a key important thing to to designing is you want to have repetition. Uh, you want to have your shapes repeat its themselves, or um, you want to have some de degree of repetition with with the design elements that you're doing. Um, I think what it does is it it makes it feel cohesive and makes it feel like um, like uh, it's all one body and not a disjointed hodgepodge of, of different things. So you can see I'm adding a bunch of these little circle divot things. Um, at this point too I'm like I'm still figuring out stuff. You could see I, I haven't sketched all those details in there but I want to um, I want to leave something for the inking stage. I used to I used to draw everything twice because I didn't want to mess up with the inks and I would draw it in detail with pencil and make sure I'd get every little thing right and by the time I was done inking I was like man I am sick of this drawing um, and I finally got to a, a level where I'm at where I could I could uh, figure out a lot of stuff on the page instead of um, you know with the ink instead of uh, having the plan for it so that's what I like to do is is draw um, a loose sketch that just kinda gets me halfway there and then leave a lot of surprise for for the pen to figure out uh, for me to figure out with the pen so one thing I like too about this design um, was contrasting some of the design elements as well and that's another huge part of designing anything is uh, you know, I, I mentioned repetition. You want to have shapes repeating, but then you also want to have contrast in your shapes. So I have these big round ball shapes, the shoulders, the, the, the rocket engines coming out of the back, and, and his chest torso area. But then the legs are really long and skinny and stretched out, and that's that's just to provide contrast and to make it um, uh, I think what it does is it adds some visual appeal when you add contrast because it, it sort of uh, imp uh, I guess what it, what it does is it does amplify your repeating shapes um, and it makes it makes the whole the whole design feel um, feel interesting um, I guess one of the reasons I wanted to get back into doing the videos is they're just they're fun <laughs> they're fun to do I love seeing other artists drawing and uh, and a lot of people have said that they like watching me draw so I'm gonna carve out some time in my schedule this year and make sure that I that I um, make some more of these um, so I think you can learn a lot just by sitting sitting with an artist watching them watching them do their thing uh, and that's where I learned a lot from from other artists is meeting up for for sketching or, or going to their studio or sitting at their desk with them and, and just watching them watching them put down lines and and see them think through stuff um, I think that's super valuable and if you you know if you don't have access to um, 
professional, talented artists. Um, there's a lot of this kind of stuff online that you can go to and, and you can see. But if you do have access to those kind of artists, whether they, they live in your city and and uh, you could set up a meeting or something, I'd highly recommend it to like go visit them and buy them lunch and just say, can I draw, can I draw with you for a day or for a, a, a couple hours or something? They might totally turn you down, but um, they might be like, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Who knows? Yeah, I'm just adding some little details here. You can see all these little panel lines that I'm drawing, and these are um, two parts to them. Like they're functional because actual machines have panels, um, but then they also serve as a, a nice um, a nice way to to show the the shape that you're drawing. So you can have a line that contour line that kind of travels along the the shape of it and that um, that helps define what um, what the shape of the thing is so a lot of times I add those in and, and the way you, you want to think about them too is is uh, number one look at reference look at airplanes and helicopters because uh, they have a lot of really cool paneling that helps them um, that uh, I guess it's just how it's built. So you look at that and then look at your drawing and see where um, where they'd be most beneficial to amplify uh, the the shape that you're already expressing with the with the, the outside lines. So um, so yeah, do that. I'm adding some more details here, little tubes going into it. You know, if you want a really good lesson on how to draw robots or machinery. I actually taught a, a class for uh, for SVS. If you go to svslearn.com, you can see how to how to draw robots and machinery class there. And I I taught that, and it's not just you know a, a demo watching me draw. It's um, I go in and I break down every little thought process that goes into this. I'm I'm talking about uh, how a machine works and how you want to make your robots and your machines look look believable and all that is based on um, what you can actually learn from reference and from real machines and how to apply them to uh, to your drawings so if if you're liking this and you need more um, you can go check out that class at svslearn.com um, the other thing too is I have another robot video here that that I drew. Um, so this is um, this is a new year, and um, I'm actually pretty excited because I I made a decision to um, to say no to all new freelance. I have some some prior commitments that I uh, that I made in in. in 2014 for, for 2015 a couple of projects um, but outside of that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say yes to any freelance um, because I want to really take serious um, uh, the, the time that I have to spend on some personal projects that uh, haven't haven't gotten done in the past and um, and they are uh, basically three three things here so that's um, a children's book, and right now I'm I uh, I'm my agent's working on a on a contract with the publisher for uh, for this children's book, and I'm really excited because it's a story I wrote, and it's a a book that I'll be writing and drawing, and this is the first time I've ever done that in the in the children's book world. So um, I'm going to be putting a lot of time into that, and. The second thing is a comic that I've been writing the story and just kind of touching base with it for the last 10 years and it's always scared me because it's so big and epic and I never thought I was ready for it and now I'm like this isn't gonna happen if you don't just do it Jake so I'm gonna buckle down and do it 
um, at least start it this year. I don't know if, if I'll be able to finish it, but I'm going to get a good chunk of it done. Probably launch a Kickstarter for that project. And uh, the third thing is is just do more online teaching uh, with SVS. Uh, I really I really get a kick out of it. I like sharing, uh, just teaching people how to do this stuff. And and I'm going to be doing more more classes and, and putting some time and effort into that as well. So those are my three main things this year. And um, I I will probably talk about them more in the future. But uh, uh, that's it for now. And there is. The um, the rocket bot. Got to add a couple more lines to it, but yeah, I'm pretty. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this this guy. So if you like this video, subscribe. To my channel and uh, you can also click on these two videos here to see another robot I drew and also a crazy lava monster. Alright, see you next time. Thanks. Bye.